Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to read you um, the first draft of the book. If I get 10 or more likes on this, then I will probably make it into a 10 hour book. Um, it's going to take a lot of work. The title of the book is called Shy Whisper by me, Brock Helton, and dedicated to my friend Arik. Okay, first chapter. Alex, there I am waiting and watching. If anyone was to attack... If so, then I would have the power to counter them with my speed and agility. I'm sitting on the edge of the tallest ledge I have ever seen. It's, ama it's amazing, and the sight of New York City is unbearable, destroyed by the uprising that was started by the Falcons. Our government was once a whole nation, but since 2900, the world ha has been in a crisis. No one has money like me and the other poor people in this district of New York. Memories, memories are rushing through my mind of the friends and family I once had. But every single, but ever since our government, nation, and New York have crumpled from and by the Falcons. It's not like there's no people in the world and almost no people were hurt by the Falcons except for the highest ranking officials. My mind stops thinking for a second when I realize that someone is watching me. I don't know how, but it's still racking. Someone's out there, I whisper to myself. I then get up and look around. Then I spring over the ledge and break through the second story of the glass and head for the stairs. But before I get there, I'm tripped by someone. When I turn around to see that it's a little girl, then I stop frozen. I then think of what I'm going to do. Should I take her in? Then, before I can say anything, the girl reaches out and has a knife. She gives it to me. I puzzle this and take the knife. What's your name? I ask her. She does not respond and at first, but then she realizes she can trust me, or if she already had trusted me. She says in a shy whisper, My name is Natasha, but you can just call me Tasha. I register this in my brain. Then she says, What's your name? I hesitate, trying to decide if I can tell her my real name. After all, after it all, I am a wanted criminal. But I just decide to tell her my real name. My name is Louis Alexandria Galileo, but you can just call me Alex.